TV news in the world's largest democracy. Increasingly partisan, instrumental in the landslide re-election of Hindu nationalist Prime Minister Narendra Modi in 2019. But in Modi's India, divisions are growing. Minorities are routinely attacked by mobs, while homes and religious sites are destroyed with impunity, including 250 churches in one state in the last month. And yet, Modi is courted on the world stage. Last month, the red carpet was rolled out on a visit to the United States, where he gave his first press conference in nine years. We've always proved that democracy can deliver. And when I say deliver, that's regardless of caste, creed, religion, gender. There's absolutely no space for discrimination. And just days ago, he was guest of honour for Bastille Day in France. In the same week, however, the European Parliament denounced what they call Modi's nationalistic rhetoric. He takes meditation time, he created a World Yoga Day. He seems kind and well-meaning, but in India, millions of Muslims and Christians suffer every single day because the government violates their most fundamental rights. The Indian government accused the parliament of adopting a colonial mindset in response and said it should spend its time more productively on its internal issues. At home, though, criticism of the Modi government or the media landscape which supports him can have more serious consequences. A new documentary tracks the story of one of India's most famous primetime news anchors, determined to speak truth to power. Ravish Kumar, the face of NDTV, once a hugely influential household name. The film follows him in the election year of 2019 and finds his voice increasingly drowned out as a wave of Hindu nationalism brands dissent as treachery.